Kevin, take one. Diana, interview. Valerie, take one. Wes, interview, take one. Mark. That felt fun. (laughs) I was diagnosed at the age of 38. 28 years old. 49. 34. My name is Tabitha. I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer when I was 31 years old. I noticed some blood in my stool and it was happening for a while. No family history, went a long time undiagnosed with symptoms. I was pregnant with my daughter when I started having symptoms and it would kind of come and go, so I didn't really think too much of it. I had my first colonoscopy and and I woke up with the surgeon standing next to me saying, it is cancerous and um, you need emergency surgery and we're operating tomorrow. My life changed within 48 hours. It's not good news, you've got cancer. Like I was flabbergasted. Never expected that, never planned for that. When a young person comes in, and even if there's no family history of any type of cancer, it doesn't mean they don't have it. I am incurable, there is no magic bullet available right now to help me. Don't just assume that Bad things can't happen because you're young. You're never too young. Never too young. So don't assume. It's been a five year journey with treatment so far. I definitely wouldn't say it's gotten easier, but it has had a positive effect as well. I kind of have a very different outlook on life. Cancer has given me like this determination to live deliberately and to make sure hopefully that my family does the same thing and I hope my friends do too. I tell everybody my story because I don't want another young person to get diagnosed with stage four and I certainly don't want another mom losing their child. Colorectal cancer is one of the one cancers that can be prevented with early detention and getting screening. I mean how simple is that? It's a no-brainer. I would say I don't think I ever felt alone between aligning myself with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance and being an ally through them and also just trying to be, anyway, a voice of hope for other people in the support group going through things. I found a purpose with the advocacy, like something that I could actually help make an impact. That's me fighting back. Like, that's where I feel like the cancer warrior.